Hi, I'm Andrew with NVIDIA, and we're here at CES to announce our G-Sync compatible program. We just wanted to take you through a short demo of what we would like to call non-validated and validated G-Sync compatible monitors. These are adaptive sync monitors that we have been testing by hand, over 400 of them by now at this point, and we have a very short list of criteria for what we'd like to consider to be G-Sync compatible. With G-Sync certified monitors, we have over 300 tests that we perform to make sure that they are certified to give the best out-of-the-box experience. We work with panel manufacturers very carefully from LCD bring up to selection to firmware tuning to feature integration to make sure that these things are the absolute best that you can get. With G-Sync compatible, we have a much more abbreviated uh, list of requirements. We have just four things that we'd like to ask. We have a wide VRR range, a ratio of 2.4 to 1, max over min, so sync 60 to 144 FPS or 30 to 75. This does two things. It lets us um, ensure that the game's performance per occupies that VRR range a large percentage of the time. That's most influential in the smoothness of your gameplay. The other reason would be that that 2.4 ratio allows us to perform frame doubling inside of our driver to make sure that when you go below that critical minimum threshold, we can make sure that the monitor's refresh rate stays above minimum and you don't have to worry about tearing or stuttering when you get below uh, a certain threshold. There's also two other criteria where we don't want to see any conspicuous artifacts like this blanking that we have on this panel, or perhaps LCD overdrive artifacts, color banding, luminance shift, or perceptible flickering. We don't want to see any of those things going on while we're either inside of the VRR range or when we transition inside or out of it, because that's also very difficult. The last requirement was that we ask that adaptive sync be enabled by default inside the monitor OSD. And that's it. Out of the 400 monitors that we've tested so far, we've found 12 that we think offer a good baseline VRR experience, and those have been designated as G-Sync compatible. We'll have a list available on geforce.com, and we'll be testing the remaining 160 displays in the further, further time. These monitors are now cousins to the G-Sync and G-Sync Ultimate displays, which feature our G-Sync second and third generation hardware. You get all the great benefits like frequency dependent overdrive and guaranteed frame doubling as well as ultra low, ultra low motion blur and refresh rate overclocking as well as out of the box color calibration. And with G-Sync HDR, you get PC HDR 1000 as well. Thanks very much.